training with integrity. Honor and integrity. Honor your workout. Honor yourself. Have some respect for what you're doing. And be able to do it without anybody there or looking at you. Train with integrity. Okay, so when you're in there, work hard. Okay, if you if you have a workout set up for you, or if you're like me and I already know, I know very well what I got to do and all of my options or contingency plans as far as what's available in the gym, be trained with integrity. I know that if I go in there and I don't fucking get the job done, I'm not going to get the results I want. It's as simple as that. And it goes for the same thing outside of the gym for the rest of the day. Everything you do. Everything you do. Because like they say, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So training with integrity and having some respect for your workout and having an honorable workout, that's how it goes. So pretty soon, probably next up, I'm going to set up uh, and explain the ab workout. That's something I'm really proud of. And that's one of the ones where I really go in there and just like push it, push it, push it the most. Okay, they're all fun to me. Um, obviously, you know, for a lot of us, like arm day is real fun. You get to pump up those guns, you know, and it feels good the more and more that they grow. I mean, shit, like that's, that's results right there. Okay, ab day. You're not going to get those unless you have integrity. You got to work. You got to work hard and you got to pay attention to, to, uh, to, I learned from those that know the workouts, find people who know what they're talking about. I did it for 20 years so far. And um, I'm able to implement it on my own and now actually be a coach. So you can't just go in there and do three sets of 10 crunches whenever your workout day is, one or two or three days a week, and then get in shape or get abs. Okay, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. So. I get every single muscle group done within six days. So by the, by the time I hit day seven, I go seven days in a row. I'm back on the day one again. And usually that's legs. So and like today I was it was the beginning of another full cycle of my body. Whenever I go in, it's legs first. Okay. Um, you're set up in my programs. You're going to be hitting your legs first. It's good that and that's just like you know starting off your day with the wins and a good workout and getting up early, um, hitting legs first. To begin your workout or just to, or to start your to start your week is just building that confidence you got one of the hardest parts of the week done okay you have to train with integrity with everything okay you can't just walk out uh the bigger muscles are going to leave you feeling a lot more tired uh, for some reason you know obviously you know chest is that one that's out there for everybody so it's easy for everyone to go in and hit the chest and the biceps or even spend extra time in there but you got to put the time into your shoulders in the back you know I, a lot of times almost every back day every leg day i want to walk out of there and think okay maybe i got enough i'm gonna go there's that there is a difference between just staying too long and trying to leave without getting enough done okay most of the time three sets isn't going to be enough usually three sets is never enough for me because I'm, i always have some kind of warm-up set unless i've already been in the gym for 30 45 minutes and uh, and i've already maybe hit that muscle group so if i hit hamstrings a second time or if i'm hitting uh, glutes usually at the end of my workout after i've already done maybe a leg press or walking lunges or squats then I might do three working sets, okay? And I don't start with anything light and waste time with that. I go right into working sets, go right into getting, bumping the weight up for heavy lifting. I'm in the phase right now of training, which will for you be, if you're in the 12 week transformation, will be about uh, phase three, the last four weeks. And you actually start getting into trying out, having the possibility to try out heavier weight. Uh, unless you're in the one-on-one -on -one program, uh, there's a chance you could get in get in your uh, your phase of heavier lifting earlier than that, or maybe even a little bit later than that if your body's not ready for it. Especially if you're not training with integrity and honor for yourself in the gym, because these these workouts you're going to be set up to go do them on your own. In the app, you're going to have uh, videos to show you how to work out. And for now, I'm using the videos that are uh, already uh, 
pre-made ready to go in the app until I can actually film them all myself because I want to show you how I do it uh, of course I'm gonna think I'm doing it better than all those videos but those videos are helpful they do show you how to do it and they explain in video and audio how to do the workout so you are set up just fine and then anything else I put the instructions in there and if I feel like I gotta put out a video I'm gonna do that or if we'll do a weekly discussion or the uh, or the or the group discussion um, in, the, in the community app where we can all talk. I'll, I'll, I'll set you guys up with videos explaining a little bit extra so we can get those workouts done right. In the month to month or in the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm gonna be sending you extra information if I feel it's necessary for you or we're gonna be going over that stuff in the hour that we talk to each other twice a month. So you have to put that stuff in. Um, and then switching back and forth uh, between your workouts, uh, uh, here's another tip. You know, a lot of my workouts, if I go in and my leg days are usually two basically main different leg days. I interchange a few different machines as I break down the muscle further and further away from the big heavy compound movements. But squats I'll do on one leg day and then leg press I'll do on another leg day and I won't do the squats. Okay. So if you ever feel like maybe you're going in there and you're doing leg press and you're growing at leg press or you're growing at squats and if you switch over to the, like I used to, you switch over to the other one, the other one, then the squats, if you're doing squats and the leg press is gonna fall off if you don't do it until the next leg day, right? It's not like that. If you go in there and train with integrity and you train hard and you are hitting the same muscle groups and, and some of the same angles and you kill it, okay, like ab day, um, I, I can there's things that I can do I'm working up to like doing those four sets of 50 with leg raises with abs um, I know that on the next ab day if I switch it up and I'm not doing those four sets of 50 whatever I am doing with abs uh, and especially abs a lot of it's just this forward motion right this crunching motion at least from the top or if you're laying flat and doing it or if you're having the leg raises training with integrity killing the workout and putting in all of those whether it's high tempo or high intensity uh, reps or, or lower rest in between some of the sets, you don't want to mess that part up. Because if you do that right and you're training, you have an honorable training system, you're training with integrity, then you go back to that other set, okay, which is what these are the types of things you're going to get in the team high activity uh, monthly challenge workouts with our men's group, okay. Um, you're gonna to have to go train with integrity when you switch it up because if you if you if you like one workout more and you train harder at that one but I give you another one for the next week and you don't train you don't work hard enough or you're having some emotional week or something and you're not eating right because you can't do all this right if you don't eat right you got to get that done you got to get that done that's the basis you can't go in there and train you know what I mean even if you don't you got to go in there and still train with integrity and hit it your hardest um, all while avoiding injury so training with integrity and having an honorable training system I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into that with a, a prime upfront example when I go through the the ab workout I think I'm gonna post on the next YouTube um, podcast video so uh, this is episode 18 so that should be episode uh, 19 all right train with integrity have some honor for yourself do the same thing outside of the gym. Okay, start with your nutrition and your workout. Get those things running. Get out of bed in the morning. Get up early. Have respect and integrity and honor in the rest of your day and getting to bed on time. Having all your emotional control throughout the day so you don't bring in any extra negative energy into your life, coming out of yourself. And especially if it's coming out of you, it's going to come out of other people. And once you get it to that point, you can't control it anymore. So... Build these habits inside the gym of honor and integrity over and over and over and over and over again. And then you take pride in it. You have a lot more self-respect and self-confidence, okay? Then that will spread into everything else. And into your work life, okay? And then hopefully getting you into the point of being your own CEO and putting together an income that's gonna be a realistic income because most of these nine to fives and stuff just are not. Okay. Um, honor and integrity. Take that lesson today. We're going to put it into actual uh, um, walkthroughs on some of my workouts for the YouTube channel. I am going to post some of that stuff up here for you guys to see because I want to teach you. And then 
inside of Team High Activity and in the one-on-one -on -one custom training, I'm gonna go above and beyond to teach you every last thing that I know because I want you guys to win. I want you guys to win and pass me up. I'm invested in your results on this team. That is the point of this. I wanna teach you everything I know. So pay attention, get in there, get into those classes and courses and coaching. And do this when you're set up with your workouts. Do this if you're in the four week program or the 12 week transformation program. And that's why I call it a transformation to 12 week. You go in there and hit 12 weeks and you hit this with honor and integrity. You're gonna see some of your favorite results. What I've learned to find is my favorite results right off the bat right off the bat because you get self-respect and you do feel honorable and you do you are able to practice that integrity for the rest of the day these things bleed into everything else okay these things make a frequency and a vibration into everything else that you are so when you're in the gym and you're in there going to battle you do it in there you do it in there and you practice it in there over and over and over again and that's going to build the man that you want to be All right, stay hard, you guys. I'm going to keep killing these meals. Get yourself some sunlight. Go put in a mile or two in the walks. Do your proper stretching. Check out, uh, watch out for the stretching videos I'm going to be providing. We're doing it right around here. Get yourself a coach. Get signed up with High Activity Fitness. Get in that one-on-one -on -one labs. I want to build you guys up. I want to know who you are. I want to know your story. And then we're going to use that to get your ass working hard the way you're supposed to like a man. Strip yourself of all that negativity. Strip yourself of whatever it is that's been throwing you off. The relationships, the internal bad, uh, internal bad self-talk. And then the actions that that leads to outside of the material world. Get rid of it. And that's what you're doing. You're going into the gym. You're getting rid of that stuff, okay? By training with honor and integrity. Keep that in mind. Let's go.